What was that? Pieces of eight! Pieces of eight! Ever noticed how many pirates' parrots go around saying... Ah, pieces of eight! Do you know why? Let's go and have a look. Pieces of eight! Pieces of eight! This is what it's talking about. Treasure. Of pirates and of other people. Let's have a look at some. And here they are. Pieces of eight. Large, rough silver coins. They're actually Spanish coins. They're as rough as that because when they made them hundreds of years ago, they didn't stamp them out neatly the way they do today. They biffed them out with designs in them, and that gave rough, cracked edges. It didn't really matter. And of course, these, from an Australian shipwreck, have been under the sea hundreds of years, and that doesn't improve them. Well, why pieces of eight? Because each one was worth eight reals. That is a one real coin. It doesn't look a lot like it, but in fact, it's about an eighth the size of one of these. So, eight reals became known as pieces of eight. And they were used as international currency. Now, a number of Australian shipwrecks, or shipwrecks in Australian waters, have yielded up treasure composed of these things. And that led to a legend that we were visited hundreds of years ago by Spanish galleons, which may indeed have discovered Australia. Not so. Because they were international currency, everybody used them. These, for example, are pieces of eight from another shipwreck off Western Australia, the shipwreck of the Gilt Dragon. That went down in 1656. Spanish pieces in a Dutch ship. They were common currency in those days. In fact, in the early days of Australia, when we were a colony, we had no money of our own. We used lots of other peoples. And in those days, we used a large dollar. And the governor realised that was just too valuable for everyday purchases, so he struck a hole in the middle of it. What was left became known as the holy dollar. That's a very valuable collector's item today. The little bit from the middle was known as the dump, and that had a design on it, and that was the coin used for small purchases. So we have a dollar today, we had pounds, shillings and pence, for most of our history, and we started with a dollar as well. And the money shortage in Australia existed all oh, till just over a hundred years ago. In fact, traders here used to get their own money printed overseas. It was known as tokens. And here's one. It's a token for the Australian Tea Mart in Sydney. And these are tokens recovered from the wreck of the Dunbar, which went down in Sydney in 1857. Well, it wasn't just Spanish coins either that were used. These are from a very famous wreck off Western Australia, the wreck of the Batavia, one of the earliest wrecks uh, recorded in Australian waters. Many people were murdered for the treasure on the Batavia, of which these are two coins. And that one is a German thaler. And if that sounds familiar, that's the coin that gave its name to our dollar.